I'm Amy. I'm living in Chrysalis. I am already feeling hot and disgusting, so this is the perfect time to film a project. I'm going with the Musician Inspired Challenge. Let's get to it. Welcome or welcome back. I am dying. Still don't have the AC installed. My husband wanted um, the guys, the two of them, to clean the AC units before they install them. Did they do that today? No. But it's okay because a bunch of us ladies have been blowing up the the Instagram DMs with each other, putting together an enormous musician-inspired project. So the idea is that we're each going to take an iconic musician and do an inspired look. With me, I think I want to go a little past inspired and pretty much go for a dead copy. And you'll see why. If you haven't already, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, share, make things happen here. And right now I'm not even going to try to name off all the ladies in this challenge because there are so many of us and quite frankly I'm not sure if, if we're not picking up a few more here and there. So they will be listed below. I'm hoping I will have have the ability to get everybody's link in time, but if not, I will at minimum <laughs> actually list their channel names. So today I got the nicest compliment on one of my videos that I was more old school, you know, that I had more of the old school feeling where you feel like you're hanging out while doing YouTube. Like, well, awesome. Hey, I'm kind of an old school sort of chick. <laughs> And I actually think that that ties in perfectly with what I'm doing today because, drum roll, practical effects there. I'm going with a kiss theme look. Yes, yes I am, I'm doing kiss. Now, I am old, <laughs> I am very old. Gosh, I'm 48, how did that happen? Anyway. <laughs> The, uh, the very first album I ever owned was Kiss Double Platinum. Actually, I owned half of it. <laughs> I think my dad got it in one of those, you know, tw you know, 12 cassettes for a penny type of deals that they used to do back in the 70s and 80s. I, I, is that still a thing? I don't know if that's still a thing. But, so he got a hold of a double cassette album of Kiss Double Platinum. There, there's their actual cover art for the album, but we got cassettes because, of course, we did. So, here's the thing, and here's what's kind of making me wonder if there's another glitch in the Matrix, kind of like that Berenstain, Berenstein Bears thing where how, how does one remember spelling the name of that? I'm just, and that is, I distinctly remember our cassettes. One of them had a green, um, a green background around the, you know, behind the logo, and the other had an orange one. I remember this distinctly. I had one of them, and my sister had the other, but we'd share them and play them, and I still sing Beth at karaoke on occasion. It's such a pretty song. I saw Kiss and the Phantom of the Park. The, the, old, the old folks will remember this. <laughs> oh, I watched it again as an adult. It was so bad. It was so bad. It was almost as bad as the Star Wars Christmas special. I don't know what's with these kids these days and they're a force day to dance in their internet. We had Kiss and Star Wars. Ooh. When we started DMing about this challenge, while Kiss wasn't the first thing I thought of, it was the one I settled on. And, and the one I said, oh, yeah, I should do that. So, of course, then comes the Google image search. So I pulled this one up. Classic kiss photo. 
and I started really taking a good hard look at the makeup looks in this. Now, of course, when I was a kid, I I, I liked Ace Frehley's look the best. You know, the, the the star, you know, the simple look with just the star around the eye and the red lip, awesome. But not really so great for this sort of challenge. So then I started taking cl a closer look at the other guys. Gene Simmons, okay. <laughs> the only bit of color on him is the red around his eyes, probably from a bender. <laughs> nah. Um, Paul Stanley? Let's look at Paul Stanley. Paul Stanley's look is okay. It's, all, it's really silver heavy. But then I started taking a closer look at Peter Chris in this cover art. And he's the, he's the one I've decided I want to go with. I mean, I was never super crazy about the whole cat stripes thing, but what I really like on this photo is that you can see that there is some more dimension to his look than the other guys. And if you take a look, you'll see that one eyebrow is covered um, in black, the other one is green. So, there, so he's got it already a bit cockeyed there, which I think is really fun. Also, if you look around his eyes, you can see more shade differentiation between the greens. This isn't just slapping on a layer of green like Paul Stanley did with the blue. You see more dimension here. Now, part of it might be just the lighting and such, but I think this makes for a much more interesting look to do for this challenge. So that's what I'm going in with. So I thought that a good color to go with that would be paper, my Paper Tiger single by ColourPop. This one I won in a giveaway. I think it was Melissa Ann Beauty and Saving, so awesome. I'm just going to kind of throw this around the eye. A lot of it's going to get covered up anyway, so I don't have to worry so much about precision. Yeah, I told my son I was going to do this and he thought I was insane for the heat and you know grease paint because yes of course I broke out the grease paint ow <sighs> okay well that's definitely yeah uh, is that enough yellow there let me see now let me go into the other one okay here we go Okay, so that is my sort of base layer for the look. When I was a kid, also the KISS 12-inch figures came out. Now, I had the Luke and Leia ones from the Star Wars line, but I wanted the KISS ones so bad. My mom, point blank, just absolutely refused. She thought they were the most hideous things. So then we're, you know, it's about 30 years or so later, and... There's some sort of family function, and I'm needling my mom about never getting those for me as a kid. And she just looks at me and she says, Still? Like, yeah, still. Hey, I'm going into the ColourPop Just My Luck palette, and I'm going to go into Mabamba. Oh, oh, oh my. Oops. Going into Mabamba. And I'm going to just get a really nice deep dark layer there to sort of echo where he's done or he's got a shadow on his bone does anybody remember in the in the 80s when kiss started appearing without their makeup those were some ugly dudes. That makeup was the best thing they could have ever done for their band, because yikes. You know, in, an age, in, in an age where they were starting to concentrate more on the total package than just musical ability. Ooh, yeah. Being hard to look at was not not so great for your career. I blew it away, but I guess I had to. Okay. I'm going into my Revolution Marvelous mats. I'm bringing a, a brighter green out here. 
to sort of go between those two. This doesn't have a mirror, hang on. But he's relatively even. And if not, it doesn't even matter. Probably not. Okay. Well, see, I'm starting to get some dimension there. I've got a couple of different greens there. I'll probably do a couple, a couple of more. Because, of course, I will. My NYX Avant Pop in Art Throb. I'm going to go for this sort of apple green weirdness that I love. I love this color. It's so bizarre. Okay. Let's go in there for a little bit of... See, I'm really liking pulling the dimension from this look. Okay. Hey, you know, I suppose that's the thing with the, with the drummers. You know, the, the singers and the guitarists are all flash, but the drummers and the bassists keep things going. Just my look palette, and I'm going with 50-50. For a while I thought it said so-so, but it's 50-50. Whoa. Okay. There's one a little more dimension and shine there. Okay. And just in time, I finally get to break out my Revolution and Pride cream palette. This is uh, Express Myself Face Paint Palette. I, sna I snagged this from Ulta. And I did it strictly on Angie from 4F Beauty's recommendation. So, see? Oh, the catch is that my eyebrows are naturally so dark. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to go about this. Might, this might not be enough to cover on its own. We shall see. Even if it's not, it'll help with the dimension because, like I said, the, uh, the original look, he has one green eyebrow and one black one. So I won't really want to get that in. Yeah, I think that's probably about as good as it's going to get. My eyebrows are just dark. So then I'm going to go in over that eyebrow. I'm going to go back into my NYX Avant Pop. And I don't really want to use my brush on that. Let me just pack it on with my finger and see how I do. I mean, after all, the 70s wasn't exactly known for subtle looks, so. If my eyebrow still shows a bit, it'll, I'm sure it'll be fine. But I do want to at least really work on getting into the extra subtle, you know, the extra dimension that Peter Chris brought to his look. And it's something I never noticed until I pulled up this image for this project. So, yay! Here's where things are going to get a little tricky because I'm filming on my phone, but I also have the, my reference photo on my phone. I'm going to draw my outlines off camera, but I'll just be using this crappy old uh, felt tip eyeliner that... I hate and I got rid of. There's still more detail work I'd have to do down here, but as you can see it looks like I missed a whole bunch of green down there, so time to get back into it I guess. I'm gonna go with Kiss My Hass here. Whew. Oh, it's kicking up some powder there. That's alright. It's alright. It's all good. And I'm also going to go into Act Natural. Might as well break out as much green as I can, right? As many different greens as I can stand. Alright. 
<laughs> Guess it's time to break out the grease paint. So what do you think? Did I pull it off? I wouldn't let my hair, I would let my hair down and do the whole thing, but I'm hot. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Thank you to all the ladies that joined in on this project and thank you for Anya for inviting me to it. Anya Stamper, of course. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you so much.